You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I am on a game for you. It's not a board game, it's a maze game. Fascination by Remco. The electronic, or the electric maze game, requires two C batteries, which are not included. Now, there's nothing on the bottom of the box in regards to information. The sides kind of run through all the info. This is from 1962. At least the copyright is game number 838. It could just be that uh, this is a different version than the 62 version. I'm not sure. I think it is, though. We'll have to see. And look, they bought it at Osco for $2.77. So it's all set to go. I've got the batteries in, the instructions right on top. This is what it looks like. This is the game of fascination. Now look at the instructions. Let's see. It's uh, You've got two mazes. You've got a triple maze on one side, and then this one here is the circle maze. So you can here, I'll just show you. Here, I'll flip this one over. So here's the triple maze. Okay. And then there is the single or circle maze. It's called a triple maze because you're starting with your three metal balls. Let me show you. And then we'll learn how to play. So in this one you have one, two, three spots. In this one you start in the center. And then they say you can have a holding spot here, but they will stay. See, they will stay in that spot. So you do the first one all the way through here. I'll read it to you. Okay, so playing the triple maze, it says, each player holds the fascination board with the triple maze up and puts one steel ball in each of the start positions. At a given signal, both players begin to tilt their board so as to make the balls run through the maze into the finish holes. It is wise to work one ball at a time until all three are in the finish holes. When a player has successfully run all three mazes and the balls are in the finish holes, his light on the pylon will flash on, declaring him the winner. This is the pylon. And then, if either player upsets the pylon by violent action, he forfeits the game. I'm not sure what that means. I'm not, I don't plan on having any violent action. Should your toy fail to operate, check batteries, okay? And then, in the little picture here, two balls in play. Player is trying to place the last ball. Now, this one here, this confuses me. It says, two balls in place. Player is starting the third ball. She shouldn't be touching it. It's in her hand. It should already be in the third start position. So, little discrepancy there. Oh, here, see, here's where you store the balls for the circle maze. Each player drops one ball in the center, starts at his, her circle maze, and places other two balls in the bottom corner of the board. At a given signal, both players begin to tilt their board so as to make the center ball run through the maze and get into one of the finish holes. When a player has one ball in a finish hole, he removes the second ball from the storage corner, places it in the center of the maze, and runs it through into a finish hole. The first one to have all three in the finish hole lights the light and wins the game. If either a player upsets the pylon, I'm not sure what they're talking about there, upsets the pylon. So you can play this alone. See, you can play Fascination Alone by racing against time. So I'm going to play it alone. But first, let me get it out of the box here. Okay, I'll set my pylon up. Let's see, kind of set that up in the middle of both players. And here, look at the cool graphic on the the inside. Check that out. It says, for better electrical contact, clean steel balls before using. Do not leave lights on when not playing game. Okay? That's cool. So this is the pylon. Let's not upset him. Okay? Here's the back and then the two batteries in there. It's just a little plastic piece that goes over them. And I will show you now. It does light up. Now, it does say you should, you know, clean some things. And I spent some time on it, so... Let me put them in the red, so it should light. There we go. See that? Okay, and then I'll put them in the blue. Sometimes they're just gotta hit just right. Let's see. There, that's on. And then the blue one. One, two, and three. Okay, blue, where are you at? There, blue is lit up, not as bright, but it is lit up. Can you see it flashing down there? Okay, so that's the game. Now let me take them out of the blue. I'll play the red first. Well, I can just leave that one in there. Okay, so first game. Remember now, we wanna don't want to upset the pylon. 
like some creature, the pylon. All right, so storage. Let me set my timer. Here we go. Timer, 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 or stopwatch. I'll do the stopwatch. Okay, stopwatch. I'll reset it. Right now it says zero, zero. Here, I'll put it in this corner. I'll move that out of the way. Can you read it down there? Okay. And here we go. Once you know the way, you just gotta try to, you know, keep doing that. And two. And here we go. You know I like to challenge myself with games like these, don't you? And three. Come on. Stop. 48 seconds. Hmm. I'm not sure that's a good time or not. Oh, it did light up. Did you see it? I'm sorry. It's okay. I don't want to upset you. No violence here. All right, let's do it one more time on this side and see if I can improve on my time. Reset. Get it up here. Ready? Oh, no, 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 no. That's cheating. We don't want to do that. Start. Come on, don't fail me now. Ooh, so I shaved some time off of that, and it lit up. So let's turn this board over now and see what it's like going this way. One, two, three. Whoa, let me grab I dropped it on the floor. It rolled away. All right, so here we go. So now it's said to do one at a time, but I don't see how you can do this. So let me just try it and see what it's like. I'll reset and here we go. I'll just focus on the far left one. Oh, this one's a little harder. One. Yeah, it would be hard to do all three trying to do them at the same time. The maze itself is easier. Stop. So just about the same time as that other one. Let me do that one again. Pop them out. Was that violent? All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get a better top-down version of my game. We need to get the pilot in there. Here we go. Okay, so let's reset. Start. Got to be 33 seconds. Ooh. Oh. Ah, come on. Did it. I beat it. And it lit up, so it's working. All right. I need to find my missing marble. There it is. Okay. So what do you think about the game of Fascination? Would you like to play it? Do you think it's fun? Do you like mazes? Would you do better than me? Probably. Let me turn off my light. So it's the Remco Game of Fascination from 1962. Let me just check one thing. See if there's a date on this anywhere. The actual plastic. Okay, I don't see anything on the board itself. 
Let's look on the back of this real quick. Okay, I don't see anything nearby. All right, so there's no date. So let's just say it's from 1962. And if you enjoy older games like this, you know, let us know in the comments section. And we'll have a link in the description area for a bunch of other cool games. And as always, we appreciate you watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. And if you like old games, you got to let us know because we're going to keep doing them. But unless a lot of people say, ah, oh, those are the worst, don't do them, then we'll consider stopping them. But I have fun playing them. Hope you have fun watching the videos. And thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.